Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Cool Runnings. Cool Runnings is a 1993 theatrical release. It's directed by John Turtletaub, cinematography by Feed and Papa Michael, editing by Bruce Green, music by Hans Zimmer, and it's written by Lynn Seifert, Tommy Swordlow, and Michael Goldberg. John Turtletaub is best known for While You Were Sleeping, Phenomenon, National Treasure in this. Feed and Papa Michael is best known for Nebraska, Ford vs. Ferrari, Walk the Line, and A Beautiful Day. Bruce Green is best known for Phenomenon, Big Mama's House, Raiders of the Lost Ark, and A New Hope. Hans Zimmer is best known for Gladiator, Inception, Dunkirk, and Interstellar. Lynn Seifert is best known for Cousin Bet, I'll Fly Away, Sports Night, and this. Tommy Swordlow is best known for Howard the Duck, Child's Play, Real Genius, and Spaceballs. Michael Goldberg is best known for The Love Master, Earth Final Conflict, Snow Dogs, and this. The film is based off of a real Jamaican bobsled team in 1988, but they took major liberties to make the movie interesting. The film stars Leon, Doug E. Doug, Rawl, D. Lewis, Malik Yoba, John Candy, and Raymond J. Berry. Leon plays Doris and is best known for Little Richard, The Temptations, Above the Rim, and this. Dougie Doug plays Sanka and is best known for Eight-Legged Freaks, Shark Tale, Cosby, and this. Raul D. Lewis plays Junior and is best known for Capex, Spy Hard, Poet Heads, and this. Malik Yoba plays Yule and is best known for New York Undercover, Copland, Smoke, and this. John Candy plays Irv and I covered him in the video about the rescuers. The link will be in the description. Raymond J. Berry plays Kurt and he's best known for Just Married, Walk Hard, The Dewey Cox Story, Falling Down and Sudden Death. The film was originally supposed to be a drama. They used real footage from the Olympic bobsledding races. They casted everybody pretty much way before filming began. They originally wanted Kurt Russell for Coach Irv, but John Candy expressed interest in being the character he wanted the role, and he even took a pay cut in order to be Coach Irv. And then the filming, the filming took place in Calgary, Canada, and in Jamaica in the beginning of 1993. The film took $17 million to make and made $154.9 million. It was a massive success. It has a 74% on Rotten Tomatoes. The film is available on Disney Plus. That is how I watched it. It is about a man named Doris who wants to go to the Olympics for running just like his father. And then at the day of the qualifying race, Junior trips and ends up tripping him and Yule and keeps them from their chances of making it into the Olympics for running. And then Doris finds out that his dad is friends with an old like his dad was friend. Oh, there's a parent death in this movie. I didn't even realize that. But did they say he died? They have to. Oh my God. Did they say he died? I mean, they refer to him in the past tense and he's not around. They have to have said he died and I just didn't notice. <gasps> there's a parent death in the movie. Oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> Therese wants to follow in his dad's footsteps but can't and his dad was friends with someone who was an Olympic um, bobsled person and he had wanted that bobsled person as coach Irv and he wanted to make a Jamaican bobsled team but Doris's dad had no interest so then Doris is like I'll do a Jamaican bobsled team and gets everybody together and then that's about that. The first half of the film is a little slow in my opinion. I was kind of like okay like I get it. But then the second half really picked up and I got really attached to everybody. I think the four bobsled members are incredible actors. They had such like charisma. I couldn't help myself but like smile every time they were on screen. They were just so like genuine and like I loved them so much. The scene in the boardroom when John Candy interrupts and does his whole like yeah I cheated but don't hold it against my team speech that was really good. I love that Doris didn't hold the cheating against his coach. I was really expecting some kind of big blow up where they were like, well, we don't want you as a coach anymore because you're a cheater and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I genuinely gasped when they crashed. I was not expecting it. I don't know the original um, story of the first Jamaican bobsled team. I tried to find it, but it was like really hard to find. It just says they competed. Like it, there wasn't a big deal about it. It just says they started competing then. They were a fan favorite because they came from Jamaica and that's about it. Like they don't say if they crashed, they don't say whatever. So I don't know if that was added for story effect, but I was so genuinely shocked when they crashed. I was like, <gasps> like I saw the screw loose and I was like, no, 
they are not gonna crash. Like maybe they'll lose something and go slower and get a worse time, but they crash and it was terrible and I hated that. I was this close to crying and then the slow clap happened and completely ruined it. It took me out of it. I was like, oh, well, slow clap? I don't think there's any, like, slow claps just can't happen anymore. Like, they just don't work ever anymore. Like, it just doesn't happen. Ooh, slow claps can take you out of the moment real quick. Like, just no. No, absolutely not. And, uh... I came back to the emotion though, right after the slow clapping, when the co when Coach Irv was like reuniting with all of them and hugging them because they crossed the finish line, and so I started to get back up to emotional, and then the credits rolled. So <laughs> I didn't cry for this film, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. That's everything I have for Cool Runnings. I genuinely enjoyed this movie. However, it wasn't incredible. Like it had a slow beginning, but I loved the actors. They just, I, the charisma is the only word I can come up with because they were just so genuinely wonderful. Um, I give the movie, my final rating is seven bobsleds out of 10. Our total movie count is. And our parent death toll, I'm gonna go back and check. So our parent death toll might be. And if there's a parent death toll, it will be here. And if there isn't a parent death toll, um, it'll stay. So, his dad is dead for sure. I know his dad is dead, but now they have to say it. They show the picture and everything. He's gotta be. Um, if you want to keep up with the movie I'm watching, when follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You'll find out movie I'm watching when I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join my Patreon because it's awesome. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I don't know if you are, so you do it. And don't be. Um, Kurt kind of learns his lesson about it, and so does the sweet, the, the one Turt Blossom guy. So, um, I don't know. Everyone kind of like learns their lesson. So don't cheat and don't be a turd about it. On to the last one.